to This Week in Poker, your source for the latest happenings in poker news. I'm Christy Arnett. The latest World Poker Tour event took place at the Bellagio. The winner of the $15,000 buy-in Festa El Lago Championship event was crowned on Monday of this week. The last player standing of the 275 that started was Tommy Vitas. He took down the $1.2 million first place prize after defeating Jason Levely heads up. Here's a little of what he had to say after his win. Well, we recently saw you on the World Tours of Poker going deep, getting super unlucky against Steven Begleiter deep in the main event. Did you think that you were going to find redemption so soon? Um, you know, I felt it. I, I was playing, uh, I got like seven, eight days of uh, good cards and I've just been running good ever since then. So, I mean, I, I won a bracelet in Tunica as well. So, um, made a final table at the main event there and a few other final tables and then I just felt like uh, my time has come. So, now it's here and I'm excited. The entire interview can be found on CardPlayerTV.com. The other major tournament in Vegas that ended this week is the Caesars Palace Classic. The 162 player field created a prize pool of $760,000 with almost $250,000 for first place which went to Isaac Barron. Second place was Mike Benvenetti. Glenn Chorney, Theo Tran, and Kathy Liebert were also at the final table. An interview with the winner can also be found in the Cardplayer TV archives. The Card Player Player of the Year race is coming down to the wire and the top contenders are fighting for that number one spot. After a short reign as POI leader, Yevgeny Timoshenko was quickly supplanted by Eric Baldwin who placed fourth in the Aruba Poker Classic. Since then, Baldwin has final tabled four POI qualifying tournaments at Caesars. We caught up with him at Bellagio to talk about it. Alright Eric, you are briefly thrown from the top spot in the POI race by Yevgeny Timoshenko, but you had an awesome score at Aruba. So. Since getting pushed into second place, how important has it been for you to try and get back in that top spot? Uh, it's definitely something I'm shooting for. I mean, Yevgeny's an incredible player and seems to win everything he plays. It's, uh, but Aruba was nice. Um, barely took the lead on him and just been grinding since then and going to finish out 09 playing as, as many tournaments as well as I can. When you made the final table of Aruba, everybody's like, you have to get six or higher. Did that put extra pressure on you to try and, and, and get in the top six, or is it always about winning? Honestly, it was too early in the year. Like I knew even if I passed him, it, it, I'd need to put up more further on. So I was really just playing to win and playing to get the maximum amount of points. And Fourth was kind of bittersweet, uh, disappointing, but uh, definitely nice to take back the top spot for the moment. You also added 120 points in a Caesars <laughs> tournament. Tell me about that tournament. Yeah, the only thing that qualified that day, there's been low turnouts here and, and at Caesars, and there was a 5K and a 1K that didn't get the 60 players you need. So I was about to go home, and I saw the $300 double stack turbo. <laughs> they got 102 players. I'm like, all right, it's a turbo. It won't take long, and ended up winning that for 120 points. So I don't know how I feel about that, but... You gotta it's do what all, you gotta do, counts. right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So if at the end of the year and it comes down to like 120 points, you're gonna thank <laughs> that $300 turbo. Exactly. I mean, you do what you do. What's in within the within the rules to win it? I mean, some people have come up to me and say and said, I don't think an online tournament should have counted. I said it was in the rule book. I mean, I was on day two of that online tournament. I I could have just as easily won it and and been way out front. So, I. I have no problem with that, so I don't think anyone should have a problem with winning a small tournament. You can find the entire POI standings by clicking on the Players tab on the Card Player homepage. In online news, the Full Tilt Online Poker Series begins next week, Thursday, November 4th, with the first of 25 events. More than $16 million in prize money is going to be guaranteed throughout the series. $2.5 million of it will be for the $500 buy-in main event. Satellites to all events are running now on Full Tilt. Thanks for tuning in to This Week in Poker. Have a happy Halloween. I'm Christiana for Carpenter TV.